China's military says that it is ready to fight after completing three days of large-scale combat exercise around Taiwan. The exercises follow the Taiwanese president's trip to the U.S. last week. And now in an exclusive interview, Taiwan's foreign minister tells CNN's chief national security correspondent Jim Shooter that China is, quote, trying to get ready to launch a war against Taiwan. Jim is with us now. Uh, boy, those are sobering words, to put it mildly. What more did the foreign minister tell you? Well, I'll tell you, you know, we watch these exercises from the outside with alarm. The scale of them, the, the apparent target here, right, a military attack on invasion of Taiwan. So I asked the foreign minister, how does Taiwan look at these exercises from the inside a and with genuine uh, alarm and seriousness? Because what they see in the scale of these things and the seriousness are preparations, training for a military attack on the island. There's genuine concern there. Is Beijing, in your view, threatening Taiwan with war? Yes, indeed. Uh, look at the military exercises and also their rhetoric. Uh, they seem to be uh, trying to get ready uh, to launch a war against Taiwan. Uh, but if we look at the uh, UN Charter, the most fundamental tenet uh, in resolving international disputes, should be through peaceful means. And Beijing's way of handling uh, the differences between Taiwan and China is through coercion, military threat, and the threat to use force against Taiwan. And these are unacceptable. And therefore, the Taiwanese government look at the Chinese military threat as something that cannot be accepted, and we condemn it. Does Taiwan have today what it needs to defend itself? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, we have been uh, procuring military uh, arsenals from the United States for a long time. And when uh, President Biden was in office all these years, they have announced nine batches of arms sale to Taiwan. And we have also been increasing our military training uh, so that we are ready at any moment if China wants to launch a war against Taiwan. And I think in, in, uh, in a war situation, uh, the determination is probably more important than the military equipment. And this is also uh, going to impact economically the rest of the world. And therefore, the international community, especially democracies, should tell China to stop threatening war and to stop preparing for war against Taiwan. These exercises, of course, followed the visit of the Taiwanese president to the U.S., including meetings uh, among them with the House Speaker, uh, Kevin McCarthy, is there any regret on the Taiwanese side about this visit? It, is it your view, your concern that the costs were too high? Uh, no. Uh, the president of Taiwan, whether it's President Lee, President Chen, President Ma, or now President Tsai, we have been visiting our diplomatic allies in Latin America uh, and with transits through the United States. And it's been going on for decades. And therefore, China should not make any exception out of this transit through the United States. China cannot dictate how Taiwan make friends. And China cannot dictate how our friends want to show support to Taiwan. You, you mentioned uh, outside support for Taiwan's defense. More than once, President Biden has said that the U.S. will defend Taiwan militarily if China were to attack. As you know, oftentimes his advisors will then say that the U.S. policy has not changed, but then the president will say it again. The U.S. will defend Taiwan militarily. D does Taiwan believe that the U.S. would come to Taiwan's defense militarily if China were to invade? Well, there are different things uh, the United States can do in an event of a Chinese military attack against Taiwan. But we have also made it very clear Defending Taiwan is our own responsibility. It's our freedom, and it's our democratic way of life, and it's our sovereignty. And we want to defend ourselves. And what we see is that the United States seems to be more determined than ever in the, uh, creating a situation that China would know that its military attack against Taiwan is going to be associated with a heavy cost. And we appreciate the United States for uh, having this posture before we go, there are differing assessments of when China might make an attempt to attack Taiwan militarily. 
Uh, there's a U.S. general who made quite uh, some headlines uh, several weeks ago when he said, be prepared by 2025. Uh, there have been intelligence assessments that China might try by 2027, or at least that she has told his military to be ready by then. From Taiwan's point of view, has it become a question not of if, but of when China might take military action? Uh, it is our perspective that China may use force against Taiwan. Uh, but if we learn uh, what China has learned over the years, is that they want to use military force at the time when they have to. But sometimes they want to uh, crush the enemies without the actual use of force. And we are seeing different kinds of uh, uh, perspectives being in discussion here in Taiwan. But no matter when China is going to use its military force against Taiwan, Taiwan needs to be prepared. If China sees that Taiwan is prepared, Taiwan has adequate uh, defense capabilities, I'm sure the Chinese leaders will think twice before they decide to use force against Taiwan. And no matter whether it's uh, 2025 or 2027 or even beyond, Taiwan simply needs to get ready. I also asked the foreign minister about comments from the French president, Emmanuel Macron, over this weekend after meeting with the Chinese presidents, in, in which he seemed to suggest that France didn't want to get involved uh, in the Taiwan flap or come out on the side of the U.S. here. Now, French officials have since said those comments were misinterpreted, but I asked the foreign minister how Taiwan interpreted that comment, and they say they've reached out to the French government mm -hmm. to get clarity, to see exactly what he meant. Uh, so they certainly uh, are watching those comments and the comments of the other foreign leaders with great concern right now in the midst uh, of these exercises. Erica and Biana. Yeah, it was quite puzzling to hear from uh, President Macron. Taiwan really putting their money where their mouth is, dramatically increasing their defense budget and spending over the past few years. Great reporting there, Jim Shudo. Thank you.